Welcome again to AppenCountryTV.com. Today we're testing a CZ550 Magnum in the 375 H&H calibre. Of course the 375 H&H, uh, meaning Holland and Holland, has been around for many decades and has certainly been the rifle to go to in, when in need. It's been a very well used rifle uh, in, in the dark continent of Africa and has had many traditional followers and is still very popular today. It is so popular that even some of the other modern manufacturers uh, making their claims of what they can and can't do uh, always uh, seem to be referring back to the 375 Holland and Holland. The, today we're testing the 300 grain Nosler Petition and the 300 grain Nosler Solid. And with the, they're both Winchester uh, Supreme Ammunition loaded specifically for Safari. So this probably is more pertinent to people uh, going to Africa uh, or hunting the Asian water buffalo in the Northern Territory amongst scrub bulls uh, as well. So this first group will be three shots with the uh, 300 grain Nosler Petition. So these are the soft um, the soft nose bullet uh, with controlled expansion and the petition in the middle obviously everybody's heard of them and uh, we'll just see how, how she goes Well, at 100 yards, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I've not spared the juice on this barrel. It's been getting hot. It's, it's, uh, we're trying to run it in, um, and we did that process earlier in the day, but uh, now that we're firing shot after shot, uh, I've shot that quite warm, and I think that that is a very, very acceptable uh, group at 100 yards uh, using a one and a half to five power scope. I think it performs very, very well certainly across the bench and there's no point looking at how I shoot it, it's what we can get it to do in a small space of time and hope to do it each and every time. Um, so what we'll do now is put a group down of these solids and, and see how they go and I won't change the scope at this stage, I'll aim at a different part of the target or another one of the red rings down there and use the 300 grain solids and we'll see how it groups at 100 yards. Well, I don't think you can fault the 375 H&H in the CZ550 Magnum. Uh, two basically one inch groups with the, both the solid and the soft nose. Uh, I'm very, very impressed at 100 metres. Um, and I think I will be taking this very soon on a hunt to give it a test out in the field. From me here today, uh, thanks to you for watching. And uh, you can be assured that 
the CZ550 Magnum is certainly a magnificent rifle in probably whatever calibre you decide. Um, value for money, can't go past it I reckon. So from me, uh, it's goodbye and it's been great having you on OpenCountryTV.com.